Apostle Juliana, Jesus is Lord. What a morning. It's a new week. This is the day that the Lord has made for us. And surely we are going to be glad and rejoice in it. Yes, it's a special week. It's a blessed day. I know in the world they are Valentine, but they are celebrating Valentine's Day. But <clears throat> as a believer, I just want you also to focus on the love of Christ He has given us in our life. So we just love unconditionally. We love according to the purposes of God. We have a blessed day ahead. But today is a different day. It's a special day. God has got something special for you. God has got something special for me. Yes, so that we can call you to develop as believers. Before we start the topic of our day, I want us to bow our heads in prayer. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you. We worship you. We adore you. We thank you for the finished work of the cross of Calvary. We thank you, we give you honor, we give you praise in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, for all you have done in our life. We give you honor for what you are still doing in our life. We honor you, we exalt your holy name in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you for the victory we have in Christ Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for the mighty things and the mighty acts you are doing in our life. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, for death and the resurrection you for your death and for your resurrection in Jesus name amen wow good morning saints invite somebody thank you for joining me today yes we'll be refreshed together through the word of God I said my topic is uh, the purpose of daily renewal why we need to be renewed all the time we need to be renewed all the time in our spirit in our life because it is important for us to pay attention in our life when things happen when life happen you know we know you know you know sometimes there's a such place where we need renewal and as believers the same way we renew ourselves eating exercising in the natural we need to renew ourselves this gives us the importance of why we daily need to do some things so that our spirits are always nourished you know whatsoever is left unattended you know, it will deteriorate and it will become dysfunctional. That's why yesterday we were talking about, you know, fresh oil. You know, when we talk about fresh oil, we read Psalms 92 verse 10. Psalms 92 verse 10 says, Your wand shall be exalted like a wild ox. I have been anointed with fresh oil. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. So that fresh oil, you know, it means that, you know, oil can be held oil can be in a state which is not good you know but you know when the fresh oil comes things are made better that was for yesterday today i need to to talk about you know why we need daily renew you want renewal the bible tells us in the book of isaiah chapter 40 those who wait on the lord they shall renew their strength the importance of daily renewal but those who wait on the Lord, they shall renew their strength. So we are told specifically, what do I do if I want to renew my day? What do I do if I want to renew my life? The Bible tells us that those who wait on the Lord, 
they shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not grow weary. They shall walk and not faint. So if you do not want to faint, we need to do have daily renewal. If you do not want, you know, want to be grow weary, we need to have daily renewal. If we want to soar like eagles, we need to have daily renewal. There's a place of renewal for us to fulfill our God-given purpose. There's a place of renewal so that we can be effective. Anything which is not attended to, anything which is not renewed, it can deteriorate. The Bible says, don't you know that you are the, you are the, you are the, you are the temple of the Holy Ghost? Or you, don't you know that the Holy Spirit dwells in you? We are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Every temple, every house, it needs a sweeping. It needs a renewal for it to be effective. If you leave your house unattended, if you leave it just closing doors, you know what? Rats will come in. It will start to dilapidate. It will start to go down. Why? Because it's not renewed. And the Bible reminds us that we, we are the temple of the Holy Ghost. We, he says in a sense, the Bible also tells us that there is a treasure in earthen vessels. We are earthen vessels, you know, and there's a treasure in us. The treasure which I believe is the treasure of the Holy Ghost. The treasure in which we received when we received the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. That's, you know, we should receive them. But we have a treasure in earthen vessels that the excellence of the power may be of God and not of us. So the way we operate, the way we do this is because there is a treasure in earthen vessels. Let's go to the next scripture. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. It says, we are praised on every side, yet we are not crushed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Why? Because there is a treasure. Hallelujah. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Struck down, but not destroyed. Why? Because there is a treasure. But where is the treasure? The treasure is in earthen vessel. It's in us. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. What am I saying this morning? We need daily renewal to guarantee our victory. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something in the natural, your natural body. Hallelujah. If we do not brush our teeth, you know, you know, frequently, decay will come in our teeth. Why? Because there's fruit, there's vegetables, there's food. It stays there and bacteria, plug will be deposited there, sugar will be there. And over time, it will damage our enamel and we have painful teeth sometimes. Hallelujah. So in the same way, you know, as we move as believers, things come our way. We may not have invited it, but just because we are moving, there are things which come, you know, in our, you know, in our earthen vessels, even in the realm of the spirit, which might distort us. Hallelujah. If you don't look at your house regularly, you see that termites are coming in, rats are coming in, cockroaches are coming in, in the house, and buildings, they start to fall on their own. If we don't to attend to anything, it can dilapidate. Even if we look at our car, if you consciously move your car and move it and move it and never give it attention to put water, to pump the tires, to do everything, it could just have, you know, you know it, it can just, you know, you know, you know even, even kill you or it will not just move because there are things which are not attended. Consider your yard, just where you stay, if you don't attend to it, unless it's a rain season, grass, grass will grow, it will grow so high, you know, snakes will come in, lots of things, predators will come in, yeah, even thieves can hide in those things, yes, even mosquitoes can come in, you know, you know, so what am I saying, we need to give attention to our soul, we are a spirit, we stay in a body, but we have got, I mean, we are a spirit, we possess a soul, we stay in a body, we need to attend to all those things so that we can be effective believers. If it's even in a marriage, if we don't attend it, we don't attend to it, we don't talk to each other, it will delay, decay, and we come in a state which is not bearable. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Same way with our spirit, with the Lord, we have always to give attention to it. Hallelujah. We have to guard against deterioration in our spirits. Deterioration which will lead to backsliding. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. The Bible tells us in the book of Galatians, having started in the spirit, how now you ended up in the flesh? 
you started, oh, you foolish Galatians, you started in the spirit, but now we are ending in the flesh. Hallelujah. Having started in the spirit, how come now we are ending in the flesh? You started well. You did things well. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. You know, it says, are you so foolish? Having begun in the spirit, you are now being made, you know, perfect by the flesh. What am I saying? My beloved, in the journey of life, as believers, as Christians, we must know that, you know, we need daily renewal so that we avoid deterioration in different areas of our life. We have to give attention. Most people just have got a habit of ignoring situation. What you ignore will continue to grow. What you ignore will not ignoring things won't change things. It can even make them worse. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. We need spiritual maintenance. If I've got somebody under the sound of my voice, I want somebody to write spiritual maintenance. If you stay anywhere, you need to maintain your house, you maintain the, oh, the place where you stay, then you maintain your car in the same manner. Most companies have got maintenance department. Most, most companies have got maintenance department. They know this is not our core business, but we need to maintain. In the same way as believers, we need spiritual maintenance so that we won't decay, so that we won't deteriorate, so that we don't disintegrate and lose purpose. This is my encouragement. Why daily we have to wake up and to seek God? Why during the day we have just to intro, in, introspect and look at our life? The Bible says, uh, you know, you know, redeeming the time for the days are evil. We have to check ourselves. Uh, we have to look in ourselves uh, so that we walk carefully. We walk circumspectly. We walk carefully. We walk carefully. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why is it important? So that we can live victorious Christian life. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it is important for us to have renewal continuously. Hallelujah. Our spirit can be made core. If you go to the book of Revelation, you know, it says like, it was talking about the church. They say, you are neither hot nor a cold. Your spirit can be lukewarm. But God doesn't want us to be on the middle fence. Huh? Hallelujah. You know, our spirits, they may be lukewarm if we don't look at ourselves continuously. So then, because you are lukewarm, neither cold nor hot, I will vomit you out of my mouth. It means you were once hot. Something becomes lukewarm over time. It means you were once what? You were now once what? But now you have become lukewarm. What am I saying? If we don't renew ourselves daily, we become lukewarm. We need to recharge daily. We need to recharge daily. Hallelujah. As we pray in the spirit, we are building ourselves up. As the book of, of, of Jude tells us, Jude 20, that you, beloved, building yourself up, praying in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Building yourself up higher and higher like an edifice. Praying in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Pray in the Holy Ghost so that we don't become lukewarm. So that our spirits don't become lukewarm. Why do we fellowship with each other oftenly? The Bible says he dwells in the praises of his people. Hallelujah. It says, you know, you know if we have come to, 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 in the Hebrew talks about it, when we gather, he said we mustn't give up the habit of meeting together. Why should we meet together? It is important for us to meet together because in the gathering of the saints, his presence is there. In the gathering of the saints, you know, the angels are there. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Why do we do that? So that we don't deteriorate. So that we don't backslide. So that we don't give up and give in in the walk of life. Having started in the spirit, we don't want to end up in the flesh. I want our zeal to be continuously. I want us the zeal of the Lord to be continuous in our days and in our lives. Hallelujah. If we don't daily renew ourselves, our faith becomes weak. 
You used to believe God for something. But in situations in life, things which come our way can weaken our faith. But the Bible tells us that we move from faith to faith. The Bible tells us the just man shall live by their faith. And we have to move from faith to faith. So why do we need to renew ourselves daily so that we can strengthen our faith? The Bible says faith coming by hearing and hearing the word of God. As we hear and hear the word of God, our faith is being built up. Why do I constantly want to expose myself to the word of God so that I strengthen my faith? I see different things that come my, my way daily. I don't need to focus on the things. The Bible says, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, whom for the joy set before him, how he endured the cross. What am I saying this morning? Your faith can be weakened if you don't get renewed daily. So it is important for us to expose ourselves to the ministry of the word of God. As we are teaching the word of God like this, you go to lots of platforms where you hear the word of God. You sit with scripture. You set scripture so that your faith might not be weakened. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Our good habits can be changed if we don't expose ourselves to the word of God. Hallelujah. Our good habits, our loving the Lord, they can be deteriorate if we don't have a habit of exposing ourselves to the word of God. Hallelujah. Glory of Jesus. Hallelujah. Having started in the spirit, we can end up in the flesh. You end up developing some satanic habits, some not so good habits, some irritating habits, some habits which will take away you away from loving God because you don't maintain yourself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. We have to be people who attend ourselves regularly studying the word of God, having a quiet time, having a prayer time, having a time to repent, having a time to thank God. The basics of a believer, they are very important to be done all the time. Hallelujah. Attending the service daily. It's not a good habit for a Christian to give an excuses to attend the service. When believers meet, God is there to correct us and to direct us. Let us not make it just a gathering, which is not just simple. We need to commit ourselves to gather together. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Spiritual deterioration. It's sometimes very visible, but sometimes you can't see it. But today, if you're under the sound of my voice, your prayer, my prayer is that, Lord, I will not want to deteriorate. I will not deteriorate. Anoint me with fresh oil, fresh zeal. Let the, your, word, your word work in me to will and to do for your good pleasure so that my zeal might not survive. I mean, might survive. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah, glory to Jesus. We say this is morning man. The children of Israel were given manna every day. Sometimes we can't survive with the word we heard years ago. Daily word, the same scripture will revive our soul. Daily word will freshen whatever we are trying to do. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the word of God will bring joy to you. When you don't expose yourself to the word of God, it takes away joy. The Bible says, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Hallelujah. As the word of God comes, joy comes. The Bible says, righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. That's the kingdom of God. So when we habitually teach ourselves, train ourselves to be renewed daily, it's part of our daily victory. Victory mustn't be on a Sunday. Victory must end in one day. God wants us to have victorious living daily. Hallelujah. I want us to, to put the scripture says the thief came to, comes to kill, steal, and destroy. But he came that might have life and left it in its fullness. I want it in the amplified version. I talked about that, you know, amplified version. It says, hallelujah. But the thief comes, but to kill, steal, and destroy. I came that you might have life and enjoy life. God wants us to enjoy life. That's what I wanted to emphasize. How do we enjoy life when we are renewed daily? How do you enjoy whatever is around you, no matter the situation, when you are renewed daily? Hallelujah. Having, have it in abundance and with full 
you know, till it overflows. But you know, we have to enjoy life. We have to enjoy life because joy is part of the kingdom. We have to enjoy life not only once in a while, daily. Hallelujah. That's why Psalms 92 verse 10 says, I have been anointed with fresh oil. We need fresh oil wherever we are. We need fresh oil in every area of your life. We need fresh oil for us to be effective. Or can we put Philippians chapter 2 verse 4? Philippians chapter 2 verse 4. Glory, glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us, hallelujah. It says this. So then, therefore my beloved, as you have always obeyed, not only in my presence only, but now more that I'm absent, work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Hallelujah. Salvation is a journey. Ah, work out your salvation with fear and trembling. When we receive Jesus Christ, that's not the end. We are still here to work out our salvation with fear and trembling. So it's a journey which we begin. It's a journey which we must continue until the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. I don't want to finish the journey midway. I want to go to the end. The ultimate is meeting the Lord Jesus Christ. I wish one day you say to you, you say to me, well done, thy good and faithful servant. Why? Because it's a journey. When we are saved, we are still being saved until we get caught up with him if we don't depart before he comes again. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. It's a journey and God give us ability. Hallelujah. In this journey, we need to be renewed daily. We need to, to expose ourselves to daily renewal so that we cannot be tired. First Corinthians chapter 9 verse 12. First Corinthians chapter 9 verse, sorry, verse 27. First Corinthians chapter 9 verse 27. The Bible says, but I discipline my body and bring it into subjection. Listen, when I preach to others, I myself must become cast away or disqualified hallelujah hallelujah i discipline my body hallelujah so that i persevere i do what i have to do my brother my sister one of my prayer requests is that i don't want to be to be disqualified there's that day where i must see the king of kings hallelujah glory to jesus that must be our joy that must be our end we are not going to be disqualified. Let's work on our renewal daily so that we don't become stale, so that we don't give up, so that we don't give in, so that we don't surrender. Hallelujah. Finally, before we close for today, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 31. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 31. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. I affirm by the boasting in you which I have in Christ our Lord, I die daily. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. I die daily. Wow. What a scripture. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Daily. Daily. We have to make sure we position ourselves in Christ. The Bible says, you know, we are our lives are hidden in Christ. Hallelujah. We are dead in Christ. When he was buried, we were buried in him. So daily, we must affirm and know and stand in our position in Christ. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we need daily to seek for forgiveness. Don't just start and shoot in prayer. Ask for forgiveness. We need daily to meditate on the word of God. We need daily to thank God. You know, sometimes you're driving, just meditate on the word of God. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. We need to grow daily. Hallelujah. When we expose ourselves to the presence of God, that's why I encourage each other to join times of prayer. You know, you know, you know, you know, when we expose ourselves in the presence of God, it's a place for us to seek forgiveness, restoration, you know, on the things we are not doing wrong. Well. It's a place for us to seek renewal of the mind. It's a place for us to, to seek cleansing of the heart. It's a place for us, you know, to be clean so that we can love more in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Good morning, saints. I just want to encourage you as believers, let's continually expose ourselves to be renewed for the renewal, you know, in the Lord. Hallelujah. 
as we walk in the spirit in this season may we make sure that we are constant we are in constant you know liaison with the holy spirit to improve us and to be what god has called us to be god bless you and good morning jesus is lord Lion, he won the money. Lion.